Welcome to Medieval Engineers, and today we're going to be taking a look at structural integrity, and you're probably wondering what am I doing on the Medieval Engineers channel? Well, the developers asked me if I'd like to show off this integrity feature, and I could not resist destroying some castles, so here we are. Now, as you can see, as the tower of the castle collapse, it's all relying on this new feature of structural integrity, and I want to just put it out there straight away that this is still under heavy development. This is really early stages, and I want you to take that into consideration as you see these blocks fly and fall apart. And you might see a little bit of slowdown in parts, but it's really early, and I want to just tell you that now. As you can see, we've got a Roman sort of viaduct here, and as we compromise its integrity at the bottom, it collapses, and the upper structure actually falls down on top of us. Just really beautiful to watch. Now we've got a viaduct passing between these two stone areas, and once again, we're compromising its integrity, and it's actually falling down and shattering as the blocks compromise each other's weight and start to just crumble below, looking absolutely beautiful. Now we've got another bridge leading up to the castle. This one's a little bit stronger because it's been supported between two areas, the rock and the actual castle turret on the other side. So you can see how it's resisting the compromises as we're taking out these individual pillars. These archways are a really strong way of supporting these waterways. But you can see as it crumbles over at both sides, there's a little bit of slowdown. But wow, for really, for really sort of stages, this is, this is amazing. And you can see how the pillar on the right is starting to collapse as well and break under its own sort of tension. It's really amazing. Now, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the debug feature, and this shows how much pressure. So the green is, there's not too much weight and pressure. And we've also got little numbers that are telling us the pressure and the weight on different areas. And as we damage these components, you'll see how the colors change as the weight is building up and the red starts to show that that bro that's our block's being compromised as it collapses. So everything seems to be fine. The red starts to spread through the actual arches themselves and you can see a few little bits of damage and it starts to spread across the structure itself splitting and damaging the walkway just absolutely beautiful how it's working and now it's just just taking such advantage of just a simple mechanic you can see how the castle's actually coming apart up top as it's crumbling away then the castle and the turret itself just falls down wow absolutely amazing you can also see how we've got a little bit of pressure on the left that's causing it to cave in and crush into the other objects now let's talk about building with this integrity how are you ever going to build a structure if everything is going to fall down well it's quite simple every object needs to be supported in such a way you build too far if one area and it's going to start to crack and split in another so we need to build a more of a structural platform something that's going to be able to hold weight and put on top of us so we've actually built a four-pronged sort of platform and on top of that, that's allowing us to build something so we can build up in weight. But we need to take in consideration if we build anything too heavy up here, it could compromise the integrity again and cause more problems, requiring us to build more support for more weight and so on. So as we build up here, we're going to compromise its integrity and it's going to collapse on us. Really nice, really cool to see. So we're weighting it up and it's just snapped. Too much weight, not enough support, and it's down in the ground. You can see how it's crumbled and it's fell to one side. Maybe we need to work on a different sort of way or look at something a little bit different. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is two towers. On their own, these towers are really weak. And as you can see, as we destroy one, the other one is going to fail simultaneously. You see how it splits and they fall down within each other. They, they just looks like a sort of apartment collapsing on each other really realistically. Now, we've got a much stronger structure here. We've got three of these columns supporting each other a little bit more like an oil rig and you can see how these can take a lot of hammer and still resist so we're firing boulder after boulder at these towers and they're just managing to hold up because they've got a very strong sort of integrity between these three blocks but too much and it's fallen over now just watch this how it rolls towards us and it starts to snap the oh look at that wow absolutely beautiful we can't let them two other turrets get away with it. Let's send one of them, split that open, and split that open. Wow, just looks absolutely beautiful. Can't wait for something like this to happen within a battle. Now let's move on to look at another structure. Now inside we have quite a strong area, but the problem is we've got very thin sort of sheet paneling actually holding up. And you can see as soon as we broke that, the integrity has been broke itself since it was actually held together with a very thin sheet of material. Now the middle itself 
It's very structurally sound, it's very thick. So you can see that these statues are crumbling under the impact of the cannonball itself. It seems to be a knight or a nobleman standing there with his sword. You can just see how beautiful they fall apart. And now if you've ever watched an apartment building being demolished, just look how these towers actually fall down and crumble into a rubbly mess at the bottom. It just looks so realistic and I can't wait to have to build and destroy other people's castles and then just crumble and fall away. Now there's also structural integrity in the environment and here's an example with the trees themselves. You're gonna definitely want to shout timber if you are logging in a forest or else maybe one of your friends is gonna end up with a log stuck in his head. You can see how these are falling, being chopped, being damaged. Just looks absolutely amazing. Now I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'd like to thank the developers themselves for inviting me on the channel here to talk about this. And if you want to see a little bit more footage, head over to my channel and I've got some different perspectives as well as a few different comments on the subject.